has been glittering garbage, trimming trash, and decorating discards long before it was known as eco-crafting. Did you know that Heidi holds the title for the biggest selling craft book of all time, The Aline's Big Book of Crafts? Today Heidi's hitting that recycle bin again and transforming soda cans into garden art. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Heidi Borchers. Hi Heidi. Tiff, thanks for that wonderful uh, intro. Um, I actually have made a business out of making jewelry from soda cans, so I kind of made some other cool things for today. I made the cool flowers uh, that we're going to see. Um, but I love to use soda cans because there's so many great uh, different colors of cans. When you start to use soda cans, you'll just start, you'll look at soda cans completely different than you did before because they, there are some wonderful ones out there. Tiffany, if you'll put the picture up of the project today, I will get my camera ready to show you how to do it. And there's the picture. I'm going to move it for a second, make sure I'm in the right place. And let's move it up a little bit. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is how I cut apart a can. Now, usually, because I do so many of them, if I can get that better, because I do so many of them, my husband actually cuts them on our uh, bandsaw. But if you're going to cut them yourself, you're going to take a sharp um, craft knife and you're going to just stick it in there and you're just going to cut. Now, on the can, there is a really heavy duty little band right here, so you want to go right below that band. I'm going to make some noise for a second. And my my blade is starting to get really dull, too. So you're going to just cut off the top, like so. Sorry for the noise. You've got to change that blade. And there we go. So you're going to take that off. Don't throw that away. You can use it for something else, and I'll show you on another show. Then every can has a line on it. See if you can see it. Everyone has a line where they're, they're graphics. So you can cut right down that line. It gives you a straight line. And then cut the bottom off. And also, let me cut this first before I keep talking. And there you have what you're going to use. Again, don't throw the bottom away because one of these flowers, I did use the bottom. Okay, when you cut, I buy my scissors um, like at the dollar store, and it's amazing how well they cut and um, how well they cut and how long they last. I could cut soda cans for like three weeks on the same pair of scissors. And for those of you that are worried about um, them cutting, I, all the times that I've cut, very few times have I cut my fingers. Yes, you have to be careful. And if you're really, if you're really stressed about it, then use, you know, use a pair of gloves. But they're really not as, as long as you don't go like a paper cut, you know, right along here. They're not really that sharp. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is I've got some patterns here, and you know what? I'm going to change to an orange one. All I had was to cut with Pepsi. Here's a wonderful orange one, Star Kiss. I cut uh, just some cardboard patterns. Put them down on my um, soda can, and I use a stylus. I'm going to kind of see if I can get that up there. And I just go around just to kind of give me my pattern. Go around like that and across. And then again, I just cut out with my scissors right on the line. And see how easy that is? And then, now I have some other ones that are ready here. Now you can do two things. You can either leave them like they are, just like this, or you can take the stylus and you can kind of go on the back of it and you can put in some lines. The ones that I'm showing today do not have these lines on it. and then turn it over, and, but most of the ones that I do, all my jewelry, I put lines on it. And you have this, this is the difference between, see it gives a little bit more shape. Okay, so we're going to take our, also I cut a circle, 
for my center, which I used um, just a template. And I put that down. And I found this glue from Aline's. It's called Liquid Fusion. It's the best glue when you want to glue the soda cans together. It takes a little bit of time to dry, but boy, does it work good once it's dry. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue all around my, my disc that I've cut out. And I'm going to put each one of these in the glue. And now it looks like they're not going to, they're not sitting in the glue and they're not because I usually have to put something heavy on top of them. And we'll put this one here. And then I have a bunch of orange ones cut. So then I put like another disc. Let me show you one more thing. See when it's curved? Let's see, can you see that? See how it has a little curve to it that it's not going to go flat? I usually take my stylus or a pencil and I just kind of go on the opposite side to get it to go flat. Let's see how much, whoops, can't see there. <laughs> and then I'm going to glue that down on top. And start gluing my next row on. And I usually do that right in between each other petal that I had on before. Now when I'm all done with this, then I put something heavy on top until it dries. And like I said, liquid fusion, it takes a little bit more time than you used to, but oh, it, is, it, it just is wonderful to use with the, the metal on metal. Now another thing you can do, I'm going to show I'm going to bring this in, see if I bring, well, I'm going to bring a candle. And I would go like this and put something on top until it dried. Okay, now. If you want to get like this one here, see how it has the little um, the little dots in it? Well, you're going to take, oh, I know I brought it here. You're going to take your paper punch, just a regular paper punch, and it will punch perfectly. And I've used this one over and over and over again. See, all the little, the little dots you can put on the center. And then the other one, other one has oops has a wonderful little um, center to it and all I do is cut a long strip and then I just fringe the edge and that then I just roll it and that's the center now when Tiffany was talking about um, that for Christmas um, this this would be a great the flowers would be great for Christmas, but also I'm making um, on the side here before we were going on I was making a um, a poinsettia so I'm going to finish the poinsettia as we're going along and I'll show it to you at the end of the show. Now this is what I did is I glued it again with the um, fusion glue, and um, I just put a wood stick on and then just glued it to the wood stick. Oh and then I've got some leaves. Let's let's see if I can move this over and show you the leaves. Now, let me see what my time is. I have no idea how, what my time is because my uh, timer didn't work right. Okay, again, you're going to score it. You're going to go make a score on your leaves. And then I turn it over and I go back over the front of the leaf and then I glue it together onto the stick. Now I want to show you, when I cut everything, all the little scraps, I do keep them. I have a whole container. This is not my first one, but this is the one I'm working on right now. And um, I put all my scraps in here and, uh, you know, sometimes I use them, like I'll, I'll paper punch them and uh, use all the little scraps because there's some wonderful colors. There's purples and pinks. In fact, look at this one. I get excited about soda cans. Look at this one. How beautiful pink it is. And there's another really cool one. Green. And then there's... Oh, I see I had a couple minutes left. And then there's also like a really pretty turquoise one. Tab. You know, the one 
I don't think it is Tabitha. There's a new one out that's called like Fizz It or something like that, and um, that's what the hot pink one was. But Tab does have a beautiful one. I do use Tab a lot, but. Um,